July 4, 1976, after 200 years, the nation took a day off to celebrate its achievements. says I was really good at parlor games. Mel, would you like to do something for me? Yeah, what? Kiss my grits! And if I could just move Carter's army to Massachusetts and to Florida, yeah. I don't think anybody can do that. Old New York patriot wearily kept signing his name. Sugar merchant Isaac Roosevelt was in charge of issuing the colony's paper money. Harry Reasoner. Good morning. We're here and we'll be here throughout the day in this red, white, and blue studio to take a look at what the second oldest major continuing nation in the world is doing to celebrate the 200th anniversary of its independence. Vidrich, known as a character, they call him the Big Bird. Now, each time he gets the ball back, when he gets set to bring it on, when he gets set to go to his delivery, you'll, you'll see him mumble a couple of words to the ball, and what he, what he is doing, he's telling the ball where he wants it to go. And now, the 3-2 to Hendricks. The fans ready to explode. Here's your pitch. Ground ball should be the ball game. It's over. And the Tigers act like Vidrich has just won the seventh game of the World Series. Thanking his teammates. Look at that. He's thanking his teammates. He's thanking the umpires, everybody, the ground crew. Oh, this is he loves them. <laughs> Look at that. Shaking the policeman's hand. Look at that. <laughs> this kid is terrific. I, in my life, I've been in baseball 35 years. I have never in my life ever seen anything to equal this. The closest he's was when Dale Long hit a home run. Why wouldn't he cry? He's Let so happy. Play. He's looking at this. loves what you do every year and who just wanted to come out and say, would you send my friend out, please? Okay, where, okay, where is he? Would you send him out here? Come here.
the American League pennant for the New York Yankees. A thrilling, dramatic game with overtones of that great sixth game in the World Series a year ago and then the seventh game too. What a way for the American League season to end. A spunky young Kansas City team. Look at them, Bob Chris Chambliss. What a season he has had. What a series he has had. Reese's at first, Perez is at third. Deep to left field. Roy White going way back, way back. Leaps and... Home run. It's a home run. They've signaled home run. Even though Roy White, the left field umpire, Lou DeMuro, has signaled a home run. So Johnny Bench has just hit his second home run of the night. A three-run homer. And the Cincinnati Reds now lead 6-2. I think he's a, he's a truthful president, uh, he's a down-to-earth type of person, and uh, I think he has the best qualifications to stay in the White House. He's my kind of president. President Ford is your president. Keep him. I'll never tell a lie. I'll never make a misleading statement. I'll never betray the confidence that any of you has in me. And I will never avoid a controversial issue. With Walter Cronkite. Good evening. Shortly before dawn, Jimmy Carter reached the end of his improbable two-year, half-million-mile political quest and won the presidency. Late in the morning, President Ford conceded Carter's victory. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Ellis, and here's what's happening tonight. Condemned Utah killer Gary Gilmar may get his death wish soon. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court voted not to interfere further with Gilmore's execution by a Utah firing squad. Be a good cook, Mother said you'll get a man. What did I get? 25 years with my head in a dirty oven, scraping, scrubbing. Well, there's a really different oven cleaner that's less work. Sure, sure. But it's specially formulated to work overnight. Oh. Introducing Mr. Muscle. Spray it on at night. While you sleep, its self-scouring foam penetrates through and absorbs baked on grime. Next morning, just wipe clean. Mr. Muscle, you're a good man to wake up to. Kawasaki lets the good times roll. Kawasaki lets the good times roll. Get aboard, get away, and you're gonna say, let the good times roll. Kawasaki lets the good times roll. The perfect marriage of Ambassador Robert Thorne and his wife Catherine was fulfilled by the birth of their son, Damien. And then, when the child was five years old, something terrible happened. Was it a coincidence, or was it an omen? Look at me, Damien. It's all for you. Who is he? What does he want? The omen. No! If this is the truth, where does it end? Well, he'll have to run for it now. And hell is where he's headed. Clint Eastwood is the outlaw Josie Wales. Well, not a hard man to track. Leaves dead men wherever he goes. You a bounty hunter? Yeah, he's got to do something for a living these days. Diane ain't much of a living boy. He lives by the gun. He lives by his word. He's an army of one. Clint Eastwood is the outlaw Josie Wales. Any guy has got to be a secret service man. What? I was just curious, because I thought maybe I'd make a good one. That taxi driver's been staring at us. You talking to me? Because I think that you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. The taxi driver is looking for a target. Getting ready. Getting organized. Preparing himself for the only moment in his life that will ever mean anything. 
for everything. 350 for the Magnum, 250 for the 38, one and a quarter for the 25. You talking to me? I don't know if it's weirder, you or me. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever met anyone quite like you. Oh, yeah? You never see a more chilling performance okay. than this. Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver. There is no limit to what some men will do for money. Hey, pusshead! It's just a damn shame that none of the fathers had the time for it. God knows if I wasn't so busy down sitting here. You got my check, right, wouldn't it? Even if it meant coaching an unlikely group called the Bad News Bears. It was a team of superstars. Walter Matthau is Morris Buttermaker. A man so desperate to make a buck that he did the unforgivable. He put a girl on the team. Boys, I'd like you to meet your new pitcher, Amanda Wurlitzer. Hey, why don't you do this league a favor? You and the Bears just dropped out. And from just playing bad, the Bad News Bears climbed up the ladder to become the team that played baseball like it has never been played before. Academy Award winner Walter Matthau is the coach. Academy Award winner Tatum O'Neill is his secret weapon. Together, they turn the Bad News Bears into a team of superstars you will never forget. The Bad News Bears. The American merchant vessel Petrox Explorer has just set sail from the port of Surabaya in search of oil. What they find will shock the world. A creature called Khan. presents the most exciting original motion picture event of all time. King Kong. They called her the little girl who lives down the lane. All alone in that big house. Who was she? What was her secret? I want to know what's been happening here in this house. I want to know what happened here today! I think I should warn you that the police are watching our house right this very minute, Mr. Howard. Aren't you scared? Of what? Of being alone. Now listen to me, young lady. I know you're up to something. Go in that study, Mrs. Howard, and I tell my father about your son. Academy Award nominee, Jodie Foster, Martin Sheen, Alexis Smith. Get out of here! The little girl who lives down the lane. John Norman Howard was once the best, but he was burning out. Until he met I believe there's a best of both worlds Esther Hoffman old and new. I want to marry you I now pronounce you man and wife Just hold me Soft as an easy chair Don, I'll kill you do this to you anymore. Well, then fight for me, because if you keep walking, I hate you. Barbara Streisand, Chris Christopherson. It's closely now. A star is born. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! It's the night of the senior prom. The Bates High School gym is alive with excitement. Everybody is there, even Carrie White. The girl no one likes 
Oh, sorry about this incident, Cassie. It's Carrie! And everyone makes fun of her. Free, Carrie! Free, Carrie! The girl who lives in that creepy house <laughs> with her crazy mother. <laughs> but tonight, no one will laugh at Carrie. If you don't have a date at the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? For Carrie, it will be a dream come true. For everyone else, it will be a nightmare. <laughs> Carrie. Starring Sissy Spacek, Piper Laurie, and introducing John Travolta in his first motion picture role. You have a date with Carrie. And now, 20th Century Fox presents the greatest comedy event of the 20th century, Mel Brooks' Silent Movie. Starring Mel Brooks, Marty Feldman, Tom DeLuise, Sid Caesar, Bernadette Peters, and a few surprises, Burt Reynolds, James Caan, Liza Minnelli, Anne Bancroft, Paul Newman. It's Mel's most magnificent madness. Silent movie. Okay. Now I want you to see that mule kick this ball. Um, Mr. Cooper. Hmm? Gus has never kicked a ball like this before. Andy, can't you get him to try? For the kind of money I laid out, I'm at least entitled to see him miss. Go ahead, Andy. Just try it. Now how do you get him to kick? I usually just yell, Oyage. Rocky, you believe that America is the land of opportunity? is Pete, who let the puck get by him and lost the hockey game. Hey, son, have a winter green life, Sam. Was there a great lady that has been around for years and years? You know, when I fumbled and lost the West High game, it took a whole roll of lifesavers to make me feel better. You got a whole roll? <laughs> There'll be other games, kiddo. This is Leslie, choosing a Lifesavers flavor. I would like some Lifesavers, please. You want a boost? <laughs> that one. Fancy fruits? No, the red one. Cherry Lifesavers? No, what's that? Tangerine. That's my favorite. No, I take it. Good. 22 delicious flavors are why everyone likes choosing Lifesavers. Mr. Lifesavers, a part of living. Thank you. Now, each one of you has been issued one of these. This is your ditty bag. <laughs> you. Me, sir? No, the bunk. I'm talking to the bunk. <laughs> yeah, you. What do you keep in your ditty bag? My ditties?
Made you stay on it? Was it the uh, was it the coat? You see that I know that a mugger can take a guy's money without taking off his coat. You've got four partners in the hospital. Come on, Alex, you're a good cop. By the way, who's my new partner? We call him Yo-Yo. He weighs 427 pounds. He's a completely mobile computer, specially programmed for police work. Is he indestructible? We think so. Send in homes. Today, 
realistic two-way CB radio. We introduced our realistic CB line way back in 1960, and today we have 16 low-priced mobile and walkie-talkie models to choose from. Radio Shack also makes its own CB antennas, crystals, coax cables, and accessories. Equip your car, truck, or boat today with a realistic CB radio. Only at Radio Shack, a Tandy company. Hi, gang! <laughs> Big Fig here with that great new dance, the Newton. <laughs> Hit it, Al. Sassy, gooey, rich, and chewy inside. Golden, flaky, tender, cakey outside. Wrap the inside in the outside. Is it good? Charm too. Doing the big, gooey, big, gooey, gooey. Hit the tricky part. The big, gooey, big, gooey, gooey. One more time. The big, 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 new time. That's a laugh. Charlie Chaplin's wife had a kid when he was 70 years old. If he can do it at his age, I can do it at mine. Only if you walk into the bedroom like this. You are about to witness the most amazing man-made jewelry ever created. The original multicolor mood ring. This is the ring that senses your deepest feelings. Well, my broker is E.F. Hutton. And E.F. Hutton says... When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Just think of it. Not Choi makes Chinese food. Swing American. Good morning, world. picture version of Carousel, Rogers and Hammerstein's uh, play. Yes. And I... When Senator Brewster hit the road for the backwoods of Maine, that meant the hearing was over. Washington was too hot for him. He couldn't take it. So I'm telling you everything that's going on has been twisted and turned. This business with the glasses how do you know she didn't have them on? This woman testified in open court. Welcome home, Burfi. Yes, sir. Could you possibly stop saying yes, sir, no, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good night, Burfi. Good night, Mr. Speaker. 
Lucy. Good night, Uncle Bill. Good night, Buffy. <laughs>